Yanda Bakosia, Yanda Costelele Behaya, Randa Bahosekende Behia, Seke de Calabahaya, Akazuro Robohoya Raha, Yakasinda Bakasia, Rende Bekosia, it's a ye that your manifestation, Makasia, that you'll be established like Mount Zion, you'll be established like Mount Zion, yes, unmovable. Unshakable in the name of Jesus. Oh, Makasia. Nondo Vori Alabahaya. Oh, blessed be his name. 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 Jesus. 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 Oh, my God can do it. to do just what he said he will do he's gonna fulfill every promise to you don't give up on God cause he won't give up on you he's able he's able to do just what he said He's gonna fulfill. Oh yes. Oh yes. That, that's right. Oh yes. He will do it. Hallelujah. Oh yes. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. 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 Mm. To you, don't give up on God. Oh, yeah, give up on God. Oh, oh, he won't give up on you. He said, He said, Hallelujah! Oh, yeah, Hallelujah! He, hallelujah! Oh, yeah. You are able. You are able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above. These are your children. They stand in your presence. They are proclaiming and decreeing. And according to your word, as they walk in righteousness, 
fulfill the desires of your people. Lord, you say in your word, the desires of the righteous shall be satisfied. Lord, we are declaring that we are the righteousness of God through Christ Jesus. We have taken on your righteousness. That's why we stand in your presence. And now we are declaring with boldness that in this year 2012, we shall be established in righteousness. We shall be established without fail in righteousness. We are taking on and putting on. We are not putting it off. The righteousness of God through Christ Jesus. So help us in Jesus' name. And the people of God said, Amen. 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 When you are saying Amen, you are saying, Let it be so. You need to be enthusiastic about the things that you want to happen in your life. I said, Amen. I said, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. It shall be so. <laughs> it shall be so. Blessed be his name. You can take your seat. Hallelujah. Praise and worship. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. <sighs> Hallelujah. It's an amazing year. Hallelujah. It's good to have you in the house. Hallelujah. You shall be rooted and established in the house. Hallelujah. Blessed be his name. Hallelujah. It's also good to see Ndaka from Kweru. How are you? Stand up. Let the people see you. He's one of our key leaders in Kweru. Blessed be his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be his name. I, I may not have seen anyone who is new, but we welcome you into 2012. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell somebody that Pinda. Ndiripo. Yeah. Ndirimukati Mazo. Yeah. Baka Naka Iki. Ndirukiti Kachete. Sasa Nachida Kanasindari. Ndirukutsika Miti. And Hallelujah. Yeah, I will be established in all facets. Yeah, in all facets. Yeah, all facets. Yeah, I shall not be shaken. Nothing shall move me because I'm rooted. I want to share some things here today. But first of all, I can I will start. There are so many things that I want. I'm overwhelmed. I'm too loaded. <laughs> I'm too loaded about this stuff. Yeah. Sometimes I'm running over myself, but I'm seeing too many things. Yeah. I sense this year will be a year which is explosive with the revelation. Where things are going to go open up, scriptures will open up. Yeah, yeah. Children of God will begin to see things that they were not seeing. They will begin to hear things that they were not hearing, because the heavens are opening, so that you can be established. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. But the key thing about this establishment is what we have started with as we begin this year: prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't want to lie to anybody. The things of God come with a prayer. There is a time of just grace when you are just born again, when you are a new believer, where God will 
just allow certain things to happen in your life. But if now you want establishment, there is a place where now you start to cooperate with God. Hallelujah. Right. Where you mature and you grow up and you begin to play your part. So Isaiah 53, where we talk about fasting and prayer, is your portion. I'm not going to even read it. I want you to go and read it in when this is. Your health will come to you speedily. Your water will be blessed. Your bread will be blessed. When you begin to implement what God says in his way. But I want to touch, before I touch about this statement, I want to touch about this issue of prayer. Yeah. Today I'm not preaching, I'm talking. Yeah, so that we begin to understand what we're going to do in 2012. Hallelujah. Yeah. The number one thing is that prayer. Let me tell you, prayer is very important in order for you to be established as a child of God. There is no other way. You cannot avoid it. Prayer is very important. It is fundamental. It is the basis of your being established. You know, I said to the people that were praying during the week, and uh, many of you were not here because we can actually see that quite a large number does not come to prayer. I was saying to some of you, someone said, one said, it is more important to know how to pray than to have a degree from university. Hello? Hello? My name's Gwaiyam. Prayer is important. It is more important to pray. Prayer is more important than your marriage. <laughs> prayer is more important than money. Hello? Am I talking to you? I know I'm hitting some demons here. I can sense the silence. Hallelujah. <laughs> I love it when I hit demons like this. <laughs> yeah. The demons of prayerlessness. Yeah. Prayer is more important than money. Even Muslims understand that and that's why they leave their shops on Friday when people have been paid at the weekend and they go for prayer. But ignorant Christians think they can change the world without prayer. They think they can be established without prayer. Prayer is more important. Yeah. All these things that I'm talking about, they are very important. But prayer is more important than all these things. You want to see Look, read the book, the, all the Gospels of Luke, of, 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 of Jesus Christ. Matthew, Ma, Mark, uh, Luke, and John. You read all those Gospels. Every time Jesus himself, the son of the living God, when things were exciting, when things were intense, when people were being healed, and his name was being sounded in every region, when it was right at the intensity, maybe making you fit, he could run away and go and pray. Prayer is more important than your business. <laughs> Prayer is more important than your business. If Jesus could live what he had been told by God to come and do. He had left heaven to come and minister to the sick, to the dying, to deliver us from sin. But when he 
it was right like that when clouds were upon him, he would turn away and go into the mountains and pray. What about you? If you can't walk away from that business and go and pray, if you can't walk away from that thing to go and pray, you are sure headed for destruction. If your Lord Jesus Christ saw that it was necessary to drop profit making, being famous, being known all over, and go and pray, Run away and go and pray. The clouds will be pressing upon him. But he decided, I am going, I cannot miss this appointment. What about you? Who are you anyway? Who are you? You are just a creature created by God. You need God. You need God. If the disciples, you read in Acts, I don't want to read those scriptures, you can go and read them on your own. Right in Acts, chapter 3, Peter and John, right in the middle of a revival. <laughs> Remember, these guys were nobody. Now they were now famous. Everybody was looking at them. Right in the middle of that, the Bible tells me, at the hour of prayer. <laughs> At the hour of prayer. They were leaving the crowds. They were leaving the fame. They were leaving the people that were uh, pressing to touch the hem of their garments. They were leaving people that wanted their shadows to just touch them. And they went into the synagogue to pray. And who are you? Who are you? To keep holding on to... You, th you think the, the world will stop when you are not there. Let me tell you, the world will continue even when you die. You will keep holding on to that thing. Let me tell you, the people that think they are busy and they are not praying, they are the most stressed people. Says I'm a very busy person. Yeah. Whether you think you are a politician, this man, I'm so busy. But let me tell you, the busy people are the ones who have ulcers. They are the ones who have strokes. They are the ones whose hearts attack them. Their hearts get angry and they attack them. Because they don't pray. I'm too busy. Uh, I'm too <laughs> it's a devotion. It's priorities. So if you want to be established in righteousness, do what Jesus was doing. If you want to be established in righteousness, do what the apostles did. Otherwise, we are just talking. We are just speaking cliches. That will not help us at all. And then at the end, you begin to blame God. God does not answer prayer. God, ah, I've been praying for a long time. Prayer is more important than what you are doing. Hello? Yeah. Prayer is more important than the degree that you are trying to get. Prayer is more important than the business that you are trying to get. Prayer is more important than the money that you are running around trying to get and it moves out, it just flows through your pockets and it goes back to the devil. And you become in a treadmill when you are not achieving anything. Yeah. So I don't want any one of us in 2012 to say, God does not answer prayer. If your master, the one who actually you are following, is saying, I'm a follower of Jesus Christ. And if you are following Jesus, do what he was doing. And also, let me tell you, some of you need to graduate. 
It's more than just an hour of prayer. Some of you will say you are business people, you are busy. Read Daniel. <laughs> Some of you are not even as busy as Daniel was. Do you know Daniel was a prime minister? <laughs> Daniel was a prime minister. Prime ministers have responsibilities and pressures. But you know what he did? Daniel prayed three times a day. Hello? A prime minister of a nation, Babylon, was dependent on Daniel. And Daniel prayed three times a day. Hmm? You need to develop a habit to pray. Not only three times a day. But ah, in this dispensation we have to pray oh, four times. Four times. Daniel prayed in the morning. Prayed in the afternoon. Prayed in the evening. But we also pray all the time. We pray without ceasing. My goodness. Oh my God. So I want to talk to us this morning. Atidi kunye perana. Daniel was such a person. He was a peer. Prime Minister, he prayed three times a day. If you think you are busy to pray, then you are deceiving yourself. Hello? You are deceiving yourself. If you have persuaded yourself and told yourself that I'm a busy person. I have no time to pray. I want to say to you clearly, you are deceived. That is high deception. It's deception of the highest form. And you need to cry before God and say, God, deliver me from this deception. Because even my business, they come and lay hands on, on my business. Come and what, what? Come and do that. Kaku fucker business. But so I could sing what? So I could parara. I could go up in the same day for you, Papa. Up in the same. Do you want a furam gun? You are the one who opens the door. You fail to take instructions that are very clear. You want to shoot What go marry? May I come this year? How good? How is it that I have worked so hard and yet now I am being written these letters? Ndipo pa wakutanga kuya kusoda kuna mata. It's too late. It's too late. Prayer must be the foundation of your life. Prayer must be the foundation of your life. I don't have to be a prophet to tell you this. <laughs> it is clearly written in the word of God. All of us will see it. Any normal human being or Christian that reads their Bible, they will see it. That the disciples, the apostles, you are not even an apostle yourself. If the apostles had to pray, what about you? Look more than a certain thing that I think that I don't know if I'm not going to say, I don't know if I'm going to say, pray. Pray. You want to be established? Be a woman of prayer. Pray with your wife. Pray with your children. Pray at all times. And let me tell you, prayer is a habit. It's not something, you know, Nakita. 
We are not saying do something that you enjoy. Some, some will say, I, I don't enjoy prayer. Who told you prayer is supposed to be enjoyed? Prayer is warfare. Prayer is warfare. You are taking territory. You are clearing your way in advance. Many to know And this is even I don't know why this happens to me. Yes, because you are ignorant. Because you do not listen to instructions. We call instruction and say, as we begin this year, let's lay a foundation for this prophetic word that God has spoken. And you want to ride on other people's faith. Let me tell you, I can speak here until my, my face is black and blue and yellow. If you, do, do, you don't do what the word of God says, I can jump and scream and sweat. Nothing will happen in your Nothing. I can stand on my head and perform. And be a sign and a wonder. And you, you see spectacles here. Entertain you to your uttermost satisfaction. But nothing will change in your life. I have no power to change things. The power that I have is delegated power. And that delegated power works only to those that are compliant with what the person who is the ultimate authority, what he says is what that power will do. Even if I love you so much and I want you to succeed, God will not bend his rule. Because Pastor Chiri said he's crying and saying, Please, but Mari, but Raven, but P. Imba, but Tambura, but P. Zokuchka, but Kungo Zingwa Kumabasa. She was Zungu Shan. Don't Namat and don't Namat, but if you do not do your part, oh my God. I can do everything. I mean, there are pastors who do gymnastics. All kinds of gymnastics. They can keep you gripped and happy that you are seeing gymnastics, but your life is, is perishing. They can keep you dependent on the spectacular thing that they are doing and you are watching and you are saying, ah, that was more powerful than last week. That was what? That was more nicer. Oh, that was what? <laughs> and you keep actually commentating and sharing uh, all these scales of excitement. But we are not here for excitement. We are here for establishment. That you may be established you. Not me. You must be established. And we must tell you the proper rules that will cause you to be established. And we're just telling you one prayer. Prayer iwewe. Wova munu anona mata. You know, when, when Hannah had prayed, no, no, I got it. For this thing I prayed. Iwo, can you say some of these things that you are getting? One goes one up because no. Tama shortcuts. And you pull, manipulate a few people. And then, oh, yeah, tell Rapa Rapa, God blessed me. <laughs> Jacob deceiver, manipulator. That's not what we are talking about. Mm -mm. We want you to be able to stand up and say, Pastor, for this thing I prayed. For this thing, hours. Let me tell you, when you see people like Steve Masiwa, <laughs> when he was in trouble, he built an altar and he was praying. 
Today is a place of prayer for other people. They go there and pray. Build your own altar where people will come and pray also. You see Baba Gut where he is right now. He built an altar in Bindura where he prayed. For this thing I prayed. Mm. For this thing I pray. It's not the mountain. It's not this place strive for Basiwa where built there that actually. If it was all of us who would go there, we'll come out like Tabana Econet. For this thing I pray. <laughs> For this thing I pray. You have to pray. You have to pray. I can tell you many, many different people who pray. <laughs> and what God has done. You built an altar. Build an altar of prayer. There is no throne without an altar. Hakuna kutonga. Pasi na kuna mata. Kana ushida kutonga mumweya. If you want to dominate in the spirit realm. Prayer. Oh my God. Shaka bahaya. Nanda bahu sekele. Rada bahu seketelebe. Tell somebody, prayer is more important than what you've been doing. Yeah, prayer is more important. I don't know what you've been doing. Even what you want to do today, prayer is more important than that. Yeah, prayer is more important than that. Wamu nongo manya manya mapu wa mariacho, haimbo kwanse kutanga sadza. Unongo uchu zoka za karcho, yeah. They actually make a decision. They are saying the Saturday is their day of prayer. Yeah. Christo achingo manya manya achingo confessa mumuromo, but pas na chino mum. Ah. Tell somebody, God help me. God help me. God help me. So if you think you are too busy to pray, you are deceiving yourself. If you don't pray, let me tell you, if you don't pray, it's because you don't want to. Hello? Mandin's way. If you don't pray, don't, uh, don't give me all those excuses. Yeah. Yeah. Don't give me all those. All of us have the power of choice. Yeah. The, <laughs> the hearts of kings are in the hands of the of God. Yeah. Even your boss will allow you to pray. Mm. You hear me? Yeah. It's because you don't want to. Some of us have not seen the need. But you will want to when the need has come. But sometimes the problem is that when the need has come, you will be in confusion. That's why Munenga Mabuda Kushandirwa. Yeah, Munenga Mabuda Gavokushan, Mabuda a quick fix with Kushandirwa. Makuva Saga Ivago, Voku Kushandirai, Voku Mawak, my postor. Voku Mawak, my deliverance sessions. Because a house could happen matter. You don't want to pray. Don't tell me all those excuses. They can run through your mind right now. They are irrelevant. They are not important. Can I walk with something? Some of you, Zukangonzi, today, Kunechin Jagada, Munoi Chaka Mari, Wokura Baz, Wenda Kwam Toko, Kushuno Chaka Chinchauruguda. 
Vamos não ir para aí para uma posse de enho, não tinha nada para nós juntos, não é maturo. But when it comes to things of prayer of God, you do, you do not even make. Actually, you are the one who begins to say, Ah, no, I do, I don't need this stuff. I'm too busy for this stuff. I'm not that kind of Christian. I have ever this too much. They just pray too much. I'm sure in the day of Jesus, you will be like the Pharisees who were saying Jesus prays too much. Yeah. <laughs> No, sir. People were actually laughing at Zayoj and saying, Because you know, one my hospital. No kuchema iko kuya. Var kuvaka university kubindura. No kuchema iko ko. You can be busy describing what other people are doing. Vame var kuita. I'm talking to people here. And this that's why I don't want to read too much. 